welcome to the channel. I've picked up some stuff and I wanna show you exactly what I got today. Hopefully you'll learn something and you'll spot something that in the future, you'll be able to pick up yourself. Should we just get straight into it? We'll start off with the gaming stuff, which I'm gonna end up giving to Jack. We have the Godfather, Extermination, Road Rage, and Gran Turismo 3, all very, very nice games. Elder Scrolls, Black Ops, NBA, Prey, I've never heard of that one and Call of Duty World War II. They will go up here with the rest of the games that I collect and save up for Jack. Currently waiting on a price back from this lot from Jack, actually. Um, but once he gives me a price, basically I'll, I'll start building that towards the next collection. Just some chip panels here now. I have no idea. They sat inside this unit and they were pulled out. So I thought I'll take them and research them and have a little look and see if they have any kind of value at all. Hopefully they do. Nice little pullouts, so they chip in, lock them in place here. We've got about five of those. Probably haven't been handled the best from the unit to here. But it is what it is, we'll see, won't we? Save the Amazon bag till last, not for any particular reason, but because I've got lots of loose stuff here. Remember, all of these prices I give you are off the top of my head. They are estimations. I like to see how close I can get by gut feeling. Then when it comes to editing the video, I'm like, okay, I was really far off then. Or, okay, cool, I was close. And none of my pickups let me spin you around for this. Whenever I show you these things, it's nothing to do with boasting or gloating or giving it the big one about stuff. It's simply to show you what you can look out for as well. I've learned loads of stuff from watching people's YouTube videos, various different people, various different channels, and I've got little nuggets from each of them. I'm in a fortunate position where I can go and fill up my car with tons of random, different niches, different sections, different category items, and I get to go through them, and I learn myself. And because of that, every time I get the opportunity and the time to be able to record a video for you guys, you get to see that too, which means you can learn a bit about that as well. Because I'll go home and I'll do the research and I'll put the comps up on the screen. So I'm doing the research for you. It's all about learning. Nothing to do with gloating. I don't, I've got to be honest with you, with all due respect, I don't care if anybody thinks I'm doing well or not. I don't care if anybody thinks I'm picking up good stuff or not. I'm doing me. I'm working through my business. Hopefully you guys can get a little nugget as well. I'll stick you back onto the neck. I've got this weird little neck mount thing. <laughs> Couple of empty cardboard boxes now simply for packing, but some of these empty boxes, as you can see, are quite nice. We've got a Gucci box, little presentation boxes. I'm gonna check to see if they're legit or not, but we've got one, which I'm guessing is for like a wallet or a purse. Um, gloves or a scarf or something like that. And well, this is actually probably more, more for a scarf to be honest with you. We've got a Dior box. I don't know if they're legit or not. But you know, these little presentation boxes, especially around Christmas time, unfortunately we're not there yet, can go quite well. Um, iPod touch box, that's the original, isn't it, I believe? It is that 2008. And a Mighty Mouse and MacBook Pro box. Just keep hold of those basically until I ever get one. If I don't get one, I need a box that size. That's what I'll ship something in. And some board games, Harry Potter, Diagon Alley. Uh, I'm gonna guess 15 quid for that. Downfall, the 70 version. I'm not too sure, 15 quid maybe on that. Take four, probably nothing on that. No idea about, sorry, it's an older one. Battleships, again, depending if it's all there, probably 10, 15 each. And Striker by Parker. Yeah. This looks like a fun one, doesn't it? Never had it before. I don't think I've ever owned it or sold it. Estimation. Well, it's got to be 70s as well, isn't it, by the look of it? Estimation... 35 to 50 quid. And these are in here. It just says keys for furniture boxes, etc. Just a bunch of old keys. Sometimes some of these keys can hold good money. I don't see anything spectacular in there just yet. I'll have a look, it's a clock key that is. I'll have a dive around, so we're looking for little things like this, like little etchings and all looks pretty standard to me. 779, some older ones there. Yeah. Yamaha Portatone PSR 200. These are really, really, really good keyboards. I've sold lots of Portatones before. They sell for strong money. This one, I do believe, is in around about the 80 pound mark, something like that. The box is terrible, but inside, yeah, just 
just needs a little bit of a bit of a dust up, bit of a baby wipe. I'll test it out, of course, make sure it's all working. And then, uh, what is all that in there? It's a grill for a speaker. That's battered, isn't it? So even if I do find the speaker one day, it's pointless. But yeah, probably about £80 back on that one. It's a nice little keyboard. And I'm a bit confused because I thought I brought two keyboards with me today. Because I do have two keyboard, three keyboards there, but I must have only brought one. This is Crossfire. Crossfire, Crossfire. Very old version by the look of it. It's wooden. I've never, I've, I've, I've never had the wooden version before. Yeah, I've always had the plastic version, but I think it's MB who started making it. This looks like a... There's two of the balls. Looks fancy. Do you know what? I'll get a picture of it later on and go from there, but I've sold Crossfire before. Um, like 40, 50, 60 quid. So if that's a special version, could be looking at even more, couldn't we? Nice big Celestron telescope here now. It has a special mount which you, which enables it to be able to sit directionally wherever you want it to sit. Some of these can be worth very, very, very strong money. Uh, star diagonal, one and a quarter. It does have like the broken mount here, so here we'd normally have a little directional mount. I'm going to sell it spares or repairs and just probably do bidding on it. But um, it could be £80 plus on that. Could well be. Hopefully my screenshot show me well. Nintendo Wii board. Don't really care about those, but I'm going to build up a Nintendo Wii bundle soon. So I'm going to add that to it. And a Mercedes truck uh, badge replacement. They was going to keep it and put it on the truck, but it never happened. So I can only assume they didn't want to do that. So I took it today to make the profit on. A couple of pair of shoes, some Kip Stars. Nobody really cares about those. And some Mercurials. These are nice. A little bit of a scrub up. They'll clean up nicely. A shooting stick. You know, these ones that fold out into a chair. It's not branded, so it's just a standard one. It's not, um, oh, who's that one that makes a really nice one? It's coming to the name now. But yeah, I'll get at least 15 quid for that. Sometimes 20, depending on condition and obviously uh, makers, but this doesn't really have a maker on it. I believe this is for like sorting yarn. It's by Sportico. They make wool. I think you put wool on here somewhere, like wrap it around here and then there. And I think you can transfer it between spools or it'll be something like that. I've never seen one before in my life. I'm just guessing right now. So estimation on that, probably 20 to 30 quid. A nice little Pioneer digital synthesized tuner. Now everyone knows that most of the tuners don't really sell too well when it comes to the stack systems, which we'll move on to in a minute. I picked it up anyway. Uh, estimation, probably 10, 15 on that, but it's easy to ship. Nice little vintage coat hanger. See how different all the stuff is that I pick up. 161 Parade Street, Phone, Paddington, 4531 cleaning the quick service the quick service cleaning and the quick service pressing code and that's just a nice little old coat hanger some more vintage lego here now some old duplo in there well it's not in there but what number is this what number is this set 646 so that will just go along with the rest of the vintage lego in here i did actually manage to sort a big box of that lego out remember you i'll show you that lego that i had i managed to get seven 1.5 kilo packages out of it so that's how i'm going to sell it off on the ebay all right the port of sound we've done that we've done that what's in here another gucci box pioneer surround system we have the speakers on the stands uh, these are two more speakers with stands well the stands are actually disconnected in there help the remote how are the batteries looking beautiful and the actual system. Hopefully it's a HDD as well. Uh, no, it's just the system. It must be a HDD, has to be. Does it have to be? DVD, video. Oh, maybe not, it's just got a very heavy amplifier on the back. I suppose obviously because it's running through the sound system, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I've no idea. Uh, estimation is at least 50 quid for the system alone with the remote. Uh, if I decide to set it with the speakers and I think probably 80 to 90, again, remember, they're all guesses. I could be very wrong. We have a hell of a lot more or a hell of a lot less. Now, this is an exciting one for me. I don't even know if I was doing YouTube at the time properly, but stack systems, especially ones like these, got me through the uh, shambles of 2020 and beyond. 
What, and what I was doing, I was going to my marketplace, picking all these up and then selling them off individually. I was making some really good money. This is a really, really, really good system. There's a lot of money involved in these. And we have a CD player, cassette deck. We've got the integrated amplifier, AM, FM loop, and obviously the, the record deck. Record decks, this will fly out. Smack, it'll, it'll, this, this will all disappear and disintegrate in about two weeks maximum, the sell through on this. I'm going to estimate 50 quid for the CD, probably 60 to 70 for the cassette. Amplifier, maybe 80 to 120. Probably sell the amp with the FM tuner. If not, the FM tuner might be worth 20 to 30. And probably 40 to 60 on the record player. I love these. Absolutely love these. They sell so well. And if the volume starts sticking a little bit, I've got some WD-40 quick drying contact spray over there. Give it a quick spray in there. Wiggle it around until you feel it start become really loose. And it'll sort it out. Uh, lasers, they only need cleaning a little bit. And even spares or repairs, we're going to get some nice money out of it. I've had this sitting there for a couple of months now. I've just not had the space to be able to process it. I have now, so I've brought it back. And I'm very, very excited and very, very happy. It's not mega money, but I just really enjoy splitting these down and selling them out. Let's get into the Amazon box. Right, let's have a look and see what's in there. I do remember vaguely putting some stuff in. I think that's like a... Is that seat covers for a car? I think it might be. Not sure. 2010 big track. It's the 2010 when it's not the original. Uh, where are we? Look, there we go. Not the ridge. Nice, big, thick, fluffy, woolly jacket made out of like a Sherpa material. I don't know who makes it. Can't find a maker's mark, but I don't really care. It's a nice one. That'll sell very well. I'll see if it fits Emma and see if she wants it. And if it's not worth too much money, then I'll buy it. Because I don't know if I've told you before, all of this is consignment. So once I've made, once I've sold it after all the fees and everything's been taken off, shipping, everything, the profit that's left over, the net on that, I split 50-50. So if I want to buy something, if that sells for 20 quid, I'll put a tenner in the pot and then it's bought. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Some more games here. You can go to Jackie Boy. What have we got here? FIFA 14 for the 3DS. Yeah. We play. Links cross training. Terrible. I remember when I massively overpaid for that car boot cell, thinking it was like as well, good as Zelda and stuff, but, but it's not. That one's got an empty, empty box, and if I've told you that. There you go. Stacking them up for Jackie Boy. Squads cards. Who remembers these, huh? Made some good money from these. See if Beckham's in there. Let's see if he's there. Not that he's going to be worth much in this condition. Or nothing at all for now. His time will come back come back around again. You know, those cards that was all worth money that now were not. Oh, these are different. What, what, what year is this? 96. How bothered. Yeah, anyone who's bought cards and purchased cards and invested in them all that time ago, the time will come back around again. Oh, let's just pick up this little straggly bits and see what's going on here. Sheesh. What we got? iPhone 6 Plus? No, oh. iPhone 4 though. This was honestly the best phone when it came out. The iPhone 4, the shape, the size, obviously the tech at the time. Absolutely loved it. Really was one of my favourite phones. I actually uh, swapped one when I was in Wales. I was living over there for a bit. Um, for an iPhone SE. Put it on Marketplace that I wanted a 4 and somebody swapped me. I was like, oh, amazing. So protective class. Nice little vintage Mickey Disney comb for the collectors out there. What's this? AF10. Oh, I was hoping it was going to be a new. So a nice AF10. Hi8 cassette. These will just stack up and collect. The Master Pulcherman of the Year, 1987. Obviously good with chickens, wasn't he? Lilo and Stitch Disney little lunch boxy set. However, Look what I've stuffed in here. It does have broken headphones. I'm hoping they're not the original Sony ones. Because the original Sony's are worth some good dough. I'm hoping they're just generic, crappy 80s headphones. I mean, yeah, they're breaking there. I think they are. Which is beautiful. Put them in the bin for now. I'll dig them out after you. Look at that. Hey? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Sony Walkman Sports. Now, these are watertight. Doesn't mean they're safe from battery corrosion. Oh no. This is not good. This doesn't, this, this doesn't fill me with absolute joy. Okay, get ready for some absolute cringe. Hold tight, 
Hold your seats. This is about to get dirty. Just look, don't hate me for my ignorance. I'm learning. Yeah, the fact that I can't even get in there tells me there's probably some corrosion going on. Not being lazy, let me change the head. Oh my goodness. I've got no fingernails. Am I missing something or is it just stuck? Do you reckon it's because that, that ribbon's in there, it's causing a bit of pressure? I'm just gonna have to go with it and I... Oh my God, I don't wanna break it. Right, I'm gonna come back to that. If I can get it open and get it going, and these could be up to 80 to 120 pound, depending on the model. This one is a WM45. So I'm gonna look into that first. I don't wanna trash it. How beautiful is that though, huh? It's been about a week now since I showed you this last. I haven't put the video out yet. Lots has changed. I picked up so much stuff, whatever else. But you know, I was trying to like wedge that open and prise it open. It turns out all you do is flick it up there. Noob. So you can all stop cringing now. It does, however, need some new belts because nothing's turning. So I'll look into that. I was now the truth. Never mind, scrap I that. I That's why I love this job. I love this job. Great. Oh, some more headphones here. I don't know, I've never heard of this brand before, so I picked them up. Benson H3. So, uh, rather worth tons of money. Well, they're worth nothing. Polyresin clock. That sounds cheap and boring. Sarah and the Sarah and Theodore clock. Micro Machines truck here. This is the Grand Prix racing truck. There's no cars or anything in there. Uh, from 19.99, sitting nice and well. This is why I don't like doing the videos because I'll make a mess while I'm filming. Whereas usually what I would do is I'd work straight from the box. So I'd get from the box, take a picture, put it away. From the box, take a picture, put it away. But when I'm filming, obviously I've got to get everything out. So you can see why it's quite off-putting when I'm just trying to do some work um, filming. You can see why I'd rather sometimes just crack on. Nice little Reebok runners, 15, 20 quid on them. Little mantle clock there by Metamec. They're not, they're not usually worth too much money, but they don't sit around for too long. I'm going to pop all that out there and chuck it back in the box again when I'm finished. Some nice Reebok, what I believe to be either basketball pumps or for weightlifting. Don't really know. I need to check them out. But uh, yeah, probably again, probably 15, 20. If there's something special, upwards of 50. Please keep this way up. Thank you. Uh, yeah, stuff that I hate. Crystal glass. Or dolphin by Paul Pottery. Butch Tinkerware. Butch Tinkerware. Some little glassware animals. Hopefully there's no legs snapped off. You've got an elephant, a deer, another elephant. Is this musical? Yes. Actually, I'm not going to start it off because I can never finish them off. Probably made in Taiwan or something like that. Not going to be nothing epic. Good Life Crisis, new and sealed. And Premier League 97, official Sticker League album in a little folder. How cool is that, huh? Has it been completed? Yeah, it looks complete to me. Somebody's got all the time and effort in this, haven't they? Complete versions of these sell quite well, to be honest. I remember doing these, man. This be so, but the thing is, we used to nick ours. We used to nick our stickers from the shop. They were so easy to pocket. I was a little bastard growing up. Yeah, nice. I like that. Phone accessories. Uh, what are these? I think these are... Yeah, these are all brand new like Rugrats um, cereal toys. So we've got the Smurfs, little poggy thing. Jersey. Oh, yes. So many toys. Yeah. So many different ones. Monster, little telescope. Sea lion. Go pistons. Just realised the phone's been bent this whole time. Oh man, I've not seen one of these for years. 
to lick them and stick them. I wonder if I can do it. I'm not going to lick it because I don't know where it's been. Didn't even hit the glass. <laughs> oh, it did work, I promise. Yeah, just some light, little random bits and pieces in there like that. Timex Sinclair 2040. What a find. What a... Only joking. Only joking. It's like scenery for... Who is that? Bako base. So Bakelite. Type in... So it's all Bakelite stuff, I believe. Bakelite. I don't know how you say it. Oh, look. Definitely not... Blasters in there. there go. I've no idea what that's worth. No idea, but I'm guessing bake plate means it's bake no, it means it's bake light. Patented by Bako. Yeah, I'm guessing Bako must have you know when you got bake light and then a company called Bako, you'd like to think that they were the dominant brand regarding that kind of thing. Uh, oh yeah, as a unicycle. <laughs> Nice little unicycle. Hasn't been built yet. I'll build it later. Or just find it online and then ship it as that. Oh, in the car, I've got a bunch of records, two more jackets, nothing great, nothing special, but that's what I picked up. And then here we have Jurassic Park bundle. So we've got a load of figures. What year are these from? Hoping they're a bit older, of course. There it is, 1997. If this is 97 as well, then we can quite safely assume that we've got a nice little bundle. But yeah, we've got some of his little backpacks. We've got this dude, we've got this dude. A load of dinosaurs. A pterodactyl. Does his wings flap? Cage to feed the you put the goat inside there and send the goat into oh poor little man oh no it's okay daddy's here now daddy's here now that make a nice little bundle wouldn't it can't imagine that will hang around long oh it's a little baby one hello little one yeah so this it's all jp so that'll be a nice little bundle wouldn't it and there we go, that's all I've got time for today because unfortunately I do need to process this stuff because otherwise it's not going to sell. And as soon as Wednesday comes around, I'm going to have a backlog and I don't want that. Thank you ever so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If any of this video has helped and given you any information, please do consider subscribing to the channel and giving it a little thumbs up. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.